Alrighty, so just rocked up at Fog Dam for the night. It's currently 28 degrees, or so the car says. First animal, first reptile, that's what I'm out here for. Haven't even got into the proper dam section yet. Beautiful Burton's legless lizard. Absolutely stunning animal. Now, straight up, obviously they look like snakes to a lot of people. They've got this really pointed snout, uh, which you can obviously see there. Now, these guys do look incredibly similar to snakes. Uh, but they have got little vestigial legs. Snakes have got some little things going on as well, but not that you can see them at the moment. But there should be little vestigial legs back there, uh, or little tiny legs. So although they're called a legless lizard, they do still have little little tiny flaps where the limbs used to be. But yeah, pointed snout is what you're looking out for on these guys. And I've seen them up here in a huge range of different colours and patterns. Uh, they do have a bit of variation in that. But yeah, always these beautiful, long, slender bodies, pointed snouts. This is just sort of a plain individual. But I have seen a more reds and, and that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I saw a little slithering across the road. Um, and that's how I spotted, spotted this guy. Uh, and now he's just sat here. Obviously wants to stay nice and still act camouflage here. And uh, yeah, and it's doing a pretty good job of that. I hope the predators don't eat it. Or thinks I'm a predator at the moment. But a wicked animal to start the night with. Absolutely love a Burton's legless lizard and a pretty big individual like that. So that is a, that's a pretty wicked find. We'll see what else we can find. All right, next animal of the night. I'm going to be kicking myself. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to be kicking myself when I find out what species this is. Uh, Australis something or something Australis. I, it's in my head from last time I was up here, but I can't, cannot remember. I'm closer to remembering, sorry. Closer to remembering the scientific name than I am the common name. Oh, I was just looking at something else. But look at the colors, absolutely beautiful greens. I'm pretty sure there's two color phases of this animal as well, from what I remember. Uh, one of my mates, Nick, saying, oh, I don't know what you are. Something Australis, or native, yeah. I can't exactly remember. Well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe it's a green and, green and gold bell frog or a green bell frog, and that's what I'm remembering from where I worked once before. Uh, there was the, yeah, golden bell frogs, or green and golden bell frogs, or something like that. Maybe it's a bell frog, maybe it's this Australis, or uh, animal, but either way, beautiful frog. Look at that colouring. Look at those greens. But, yeah, I, uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. When I, when I look it up, I'll be able to know, but, and you will know, it's on the video, but either way. I'm the only one out here. It's absolutely brilliant night for it. Um, yeah, this is Fog Dam if you're not already familiar. So out here is just heaps and heaps of lilies. Um, yeah, a few freshies and saltwater crocodiles as well from what I hear. Look at all the insects. Wicked. That's what I want. All of these insects. It's a hot, warm, humid night. It's still about, yeah, 28, 30 odd degrees now. All of these insects cruising around, which will hopefully bring the frogs out, although it's not too wet. And then hopefully the, the lizards and the snakes and all that come out as well. And I've just seen that Burton's, uh, which, was, which was wicked. I uh, love a Burton's. So, I'll hop back in the car, go up and down a few times, see what I can see. And, uh, and we'll go from there. I don't know if you can see up there without blinding old mate. At the top of that tree, through all those insects, there's a barking out. But, um, yeah, the insects are getting extremely thick. And I don't want to be shining the light directly at it because I've not got proper night vision there you go it's, no. so you can see it's facing away at the moment there you go oh, but oh my, honestly look at this this is insane that barking now is still there he's not too fast but look at that this is crazy because it's warm turn that off to not blind you because it's warm and humid as well that barking now is all right i'm not freaking it out too much by talking because it's warm and humid i got sweat all over the back of my neck and all over my arms the insects are attracted to the light and when they get to my arms, they're sticking to me as well. So I'm like this big sticky mat, um, sticky trap. And as you can probably see, and there's a cricket there and other bugs everywhere. So if you can handle this, if you're not too worried about bugs, you can see some wicked stuff. That barking owl is, is still up there. There you go. So barking owl, Ninox cunnavans. Um, yeah, excellent owl species. Probably one of the best or better best uh, hawk owl species to see in Australia. Absolutely love a barking owl. Um, out of the hawk owls, they're, they're excellent. Probably the best owl, actually, in Australia. But oh, honestly, if you can deal with this kind of stuff, you're sweet. What are we? Uh, uh, hopefully, going to see a, a water python. I'm trying to think, but I can't think at the moment at all. Because as I'm talking, you can see that. They're all over my tongue and everything. 
it's getting pretty insane now but hopefully water pythons i've seen a water python uh most times here maybe a fresh if i'm lucky but otherwise i'm gonna get back in the car even though the windows are open that's not gonna help me with the bugs but i gotta keep driving and try and blow some of these things off me um because yeah i'm not enjoying myself as much with the creepy crawlies everywhere but hopefully a snake up next we've seen a a bird we've seen an amphibian we've seen a rep uh, a, a lizard uh but hopefully yeah now a snake would be would be up next even though they're still a reptile just like the lizards uh they're they're something different they're cool all right so despite the bugs we we're onto a snake it looks like it's a water python so before the bugs come and and ruin my night look at this just waiting on the edge yep water python beautiful it's a skinny little one little skinny baby Leasis uh, fuscus, I believe. Leasis olivaceus is the olive python, which is a favourite of mine. We'll just check that that's my lights, not someone else's. Oh gosh, they're a bit blinding. Oh, there you go, he's moving off. Don't want to miss it, but there you go. Little, little skinny water python. Sorry to disturb you, buddy. You needed to make your way off the path anyway. This is about as far as I'll follow him or it down to the water because of the snakes uh the crocs i mean and whatnot there you go wanders off beautiful off into the water excellent didn't get a heaps good look but i've got rec recordings of them uh over here before a little video uh, i'll probably just chuck some more of that stuff in if i've not already put it on youtube don't think i did i just shared it to my facebook and instagram but uh yeah a little water python sitting on the side awesome uh, so yeah, there's there's heaps of those around. There was heaps. I believe at one stage that the water pythons, oh, let's smudge it, water pythons here uh, meant that this place in the whole world had the highest density of predators to prey. Fog Dam had the highest densities of predator to prey in the whole world because of the amount of water pythons that were here. So that is just at the moment anecdotal evidence. I don't have anything to back it up. I might go and find some, uh, but unfortunately with the cane toads coming through, sorry probably didn't see any of that uh, because of the cane toads coming through you've just lost a huge proportion of them uh, which is really unfortunate I think you've got the backlighting from the the spotlights as well I should face the spotlights you probably have not seen me and if you did well then cool but otherwise awesome hopefully see more of them I'm pretty stoked I've hit all the marks already uh, and I'm not even across the dam I'm at the second lookout just now and I've hit snake lizard uh, yeah owl could see a bar now, could see some more frogs, green tree frog would be nice, and then any other snake, but I'm happy, I could go home easily. Uh, that was sick. I've had a great night already, and I've been out here 20 minutes. So, there you go. The bug situation has calmed down, which is good. Heaps in front of the car. It was all right, I could bear with them sticking to my skin, but some of them started to sting or bite me, which was not ideal. Uh, so yeah, that was not, not, a, not a good time. All right, so I was just looking along the wall, as I was saying, and it looks up here like we've just got water python number two on its way off the wall. Make sure there's nothing that's going to hurt me around. Looks just about the same size, or maybe a bit bigger. Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger. But there you go, water python number two. This one is a bit bigger, actually. Beautiful. Now, you can tell the difference between these guys and your olives because of the beautiful yellow it's got underneath. You can see it's frozen up. It's like, oh, there might be something that's going to happen here. I'll just dim that light a little bit. Sorry. Dim, dim, dim. There we go. Beautiful yellowing underneath. There we go. But, get my head torch out for this part. You might already be able to see. They have got an absolutely, oh, excellent iridescence. You might be getting it picked up. It might not. Either way. Uh, to my knowledge, these are the, the snakes behind the Dreamtime story, the indigenous Dreamtime story of the water, uh, the rainbow serpent, sorry. So these guys have got a really, really beautiful iridescent rainbow coloration. Olive pythons do as well, but these guys more so. Absolutely brilliant rainbow colours. It's not really, I can see it a little bit, you guys might have it picked up, but look at that. Beautiful, beautiful snake. So he'd be cruising, or he, she, they would be cruising along here looking for frogs, uh, as with all the others. And that's why the cane toads have done so bad on these guys. They take a bit of anything, whatever they can get really. But uh, yeah, the cane toads really buggered everyone up that ate frogs. 
Uh, unfortunately, these guys do, and yeah, they just die straight away from the poison. But yeah, nice size individual. Not too bad at all. Very beautiful snakes. So that's two water pythons, a Burton's legless lizard, uh, the unknown frog, or the green frog, uh, and the barking owl. Absolutely stoked. I'll leave you to it. And I'm getting to see a bit of it. You guys might so might too soon. Golly me, I can't talk. I'm so excited. Uh, but there's a bit of a lightning storm going on. It's not a crazy one, but there's enough lightning, bang, 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 and bang along here. You got a real good vantage point that it is putting on a bit of a sporadic, nice little show. You can't see the bolts, but you can see the flashes as uh, the storm must be that far away. But anyway, back to looking for croc spotting, really. See if there's any crocodiles in and around here. And we'll make sure old mate's gonna go the right way. There you go, you cruising off that way. Beautiful. Excellent, look at that. Loving it, absolutely stoked I come out tonight. Wowee, I was worried because I was looking on the radar and it looked like there was a big storm coming through. And I was like, if it gets washed out, it'll cool down. Like the water will be nice, the rain will probably bring the snakes out, but it'll also cool everything down and I might not see much. But I have seen quite a bit. And I've got, I've been one once, or one way, and I'm put about three uh, quarter of the way going back. And I'll do this a couple of times, so it could just bag out on seeing cool stuff. So, loving it. It's coming back across the damn wall and the water python, the second water python, is still just there relaxing. Just doing nothing. Well, probably in hunting mode. Whoop. Maybe it ate something. It's contorting its belly a little bit. Look at that. Weird. Maybe it's getting ready to, or it is digesting, or it's getting ready to. I don't know. Anyway, this round, well, put in gear. This round has not been as successful. I'm already, yeah, at the point where I would have seen quite a bit last time. I didn't go all the way back to the Burton's area. I just went back to the start of the dam. Oof. The it's all right until the light's on and those bugs come thick and fast. The insects, whatever's going on, there's a lot of them. Anyway, uh, yeah, this one's not been as successful. Although, yeah, I got to see the water python again, but nothing new. I'm only gonna do, go up here and then go back and then I'm gonna leave because the insects are just ridiculous. They're starting to, when they bite and sting, it's just not a good time. I can't just have the, be in the car with all the windows up or anything. So I won't be able to see anything. So yeah, we'll see what this turns up, this little last bit. And on the way home and the way out and the way home, see if I can find anything cool. Alrighty, so just rolling up now. The fog dam is done. Well, the dam is done itself. Just rolling up to a barn owl spot where a couple of years ago I saw 16 barn owls along this stretch. There's one. But one barn owl is better than none barn owls. I can tell you that much. Hopefully you can see a little white bird up on the little power lines there. So yeah, power lines, a couple of years ago, these power lines went up and down the road, found 16 barn owls, two bar, uh, brown falcons sitting between all the barn owls as well. Oh, spotted him, don't want to blind him. You've seen him on takeoff. But yeah, pretty crazy. But that was a bit later in the season, or a month, a month later. It's January now, it was February 18th about, I checked. And what the crazy thing was is that there was a whole lot more water. So there was a whole lot more frogs, there was a whole lot more mice and food. And so that's probably why the barn owls had such a good season. I want to hear so much. But unfortunately, this year there's been, sorry, there's been nothing. So yeah, that's that's pretty disappointing, uh, the amount of rain. So hopefully the rain kicks up more, uh, but otherwise, yeah, it'll be pretty disappointing for, for wildlife and for the just the natural landscape if it doesn't. But anyway, if I see anything cool on the way out, definitely gonna end the video with that. But otherwise, I'm gonna finish at the bar now. I had a great time at Fog Dam. The second run through wasn't too great, but otherwise ending on a bar now and seeing all the stuff I did on the first run, insane. It was a great day. It never, it, I've never had a bad time, a bad time at Fog Dam. Sunrise, sunset, middle of the, well, yeah, daytime, nighttime. I've been there all the different times and it's been fantastic. If you get up here and you've not been before, Fog Dam is just exceptional. Absolutely love it. Cannot go wrong with Fog Dam. So yeah, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching if you have it all. 
if you're here at this point you've watched obviously but otherwise yeah uh, i've had a good time hopefully you've enjoyed seeing some cool stuff as well uh, and until next time cheers for being here and have a good one and yeah do what you love cheers guys see ya look at this look at we're ending the night with a frog mouth a tawny frog mouth look at that absolutely beautiful oh you see there tawny frog mouth you look at all the nocturnal birds now tawny frog mouth i'm not sure if i said this before but tawny frog mouths that's all about all the filming i'm going to do i'll go from the back so i don't get him light in his eyes tawny frog mouths aren't ours they are their own thing they're like a night jar they got a big mouth they're a nocturnal bird yes like an owl hey buddy so they're a nocturnal bird like an owl i'll get my light on so you can see me i'm not blinding the bird so yes nocturnal bird just like an owl they eat the same types of foods in some cases but otherwise they're not an owl because of how they're built they're built more like a kookaburra i like to describe they got a big strong beak like a kookaburra uh, raptors have got big powerful feet for catching and killing prey they use their feet to catch and kill their prey beaks are uh, just used for like ripping and tearing flesh kookaburras are a predatory bird they got a big strong beak uh, as are tawny frog mouse they're a predatory bird but they're a nocturnal bird so a lot of people get uh, mixed up that way so they're like night jars but they're their own thing um they uh frog mouse are frog mouse all right so yeah not usually one for handling stuff but this one was on the road uh it was in 110 part i went right over the, like middle of the car over the top of it i cursed myself because i thought i hit it and hurt it but I'll put it in the grass now but beautiful boiga irregularis brown tree snake baby eyes or doll eyed snake i'm just gonna gently not hurt holding onto it tight i'm just want to keep it here for a minute while the traffic goes past and then i'll i'll let it do its thing but look at that i've shown him in other videos as well but you can't get enough i'm going to take it the way it was going actually people and the cars everywhere so yeah it was in the middle of the road and i went right through the middle of it i thought it would have hit one of the tires i tried to line it up perfectly to go over the top of it i didn't think i did but i did look at it beautiful and that's the way you were going buddy you stay safe look at that beautiful brown tree snakes are excellent absolutely excellent no you go the way i'm going to take you into the trees actually or further off that way go away go into the trees silly bugger look at that yeah, I didn't want to swerve too bad. I didn't want to kill myself. I also didn't want to hit the snake. But look at that. Everyone gets to walk away. Probably confusing it a bit with the light. But there you go. Night tiger to finish the night. And I'm not even home yet. So I might even see something else. Uh, and they get the name night tiger because some localities, the stripes line up. You can see the banding on this one sort of is mismatched. But they band. The banding matches up and looks like a, an actual tiger. Well, tiger stripes, not like an actual tiger, but there you go. <laughs> Yay, very exciting.